Hey guys, Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with part two of the July Q&A responses. We left it off with take username um, that gave a, a very nice list of questions. Thank you very much. So we do have some more. Um, Andrew Leop comes back. Good to see you again. We, he has a list of three questions. What are your thoughts on the recent closure of the Mount Rainer Scenic Railroad in Washington? I never knew about this. Are you going to try to film the first run of 1309 on the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad? That has actually been on my to-do list. Uh, I've been following the progress on that, and I'm really glad to see that they are trying very, very hard to restore one of the last ball ones. And let me tell you something. That's going to be a beautiful steam locomotive when she comes out. I believe it's the Allegheny, I think. His next question is, if you had the money to purchase any steam locomotive from anywhere and restore it to operating condition, which one would it be? I will have to say it this much, NNW 1218. I love the 1218. I really, really wish that they would really get that engine back up because I love the 1218. So, uh, thank you, sir, for your questions. Steve Weeby Baby comes in. Good to see you, buddy. He has two questions. Which are the four NS Harris units you have not seen? This is a good question. I have not seen the 1065, the Savannah Atlanta, the New York Central, the 1066, the 8101, the Central of Georgia, and the 8104, the Lehigh Valley. They're the four that I need, that's the four I need left. The magic four. Have you heard the CNN 1309 was test fired? I remember when that hit, when that thing hit the news, buddy, and I was pretty happy about it. So, thank you, thank you, Steve, for your questions. Stone TNT, good to see you, buddy. All is well on my end. What's your favorite Harrison from each maker uh, for for NS? Um, I really don't have a favorite. I just, I actually like most of them because Norfolk Southern nailed their heritage program without a doubt. I love their heritage program. They did a good job with it. Um, Favorite place to go rail fanning? Hey, my own hometown of Suffolk, man. I love Suffolk. I love Petersburg, and I love Salisbury and uh, Kannapolis all up and down the southern. Man, I, I just love going rail fanning everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love going, and I want to follow up with this question that's, that Stone TNT has asked. Um, I enjoy going to different places to rail fan. I meet a lot of people, and I've, and everybody I have come in contact with, I've found some sort of common ground with them. And finding common ground with somebody is very, very awesome. And I'm really glad that this brought up. And one of my other favorite places is in is in North Carolina, the hub of the old seaboard, which is Hamlet. So uh, definitely a good place to go. What is your second favorite hobby to rail fan in? Well, I love doing home repairs and woodworking, of course, building things out of wood. And I love being in the outdoors. So, really good questions. Thank you, sir, for your questions. Please come back and ask for more. Please come back and ask more. And the last person that will uh, conclude this Q&A is Southeast Virginia Railfan. Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Ask a few questions. Have you heard of Snake Hunt? It doesn't sound interesting to you. I've actually never heard of that. Uh, favorite BNSF line? I have one. The, the former ATSF Southern Transcon, which is the main line that runs from Chicago to Los Angeles. One of my very favorite parts of BNSF because all of that is the old Santa Fe, buddy. I am ATSF in my blood. I love the ATSF. I love the war bonnet paint scheme on the Dash 9s, the 75Ms, uh, the GP60Ms. They've all been rebuilt, the GP60M-3s. But I just love the war bonnets. I love the blue bonnets. I love anything that says ATSF on it. I really do. And favorite DQ Blizzard. Oh, do I love DQ Blizzards. Oh, man. All you guys are making me hungry tonight. Oh, man. Now, now this question is going to really inspire me to get one. <laughs> but uh, I do like their Oreo Blizzard, their Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Blizzard, 
They have one called Strawberry Cheesequake Blizzard. The Reese's Blizzard is my dad's favorite. My mom always likes the Heath Bar one. But any DQ Blizzard they've got is good. I'll tell you my menu at DQ. When I go in, I get the chicken strips basket, six piece, with all the fixings on it like they would fix it. Then a small blizzard of either Oreo or whichever one I whichever one I like the best. And on top of that, a small drink. That's my meal at DQ. I love it. I love DQ because it is fan food, buddy. And sometimes that is actually real fan food. Because ice cream is the icing on the cake. So uh, I thought I would elaborate on that a little bit. Want to make everybody else a little bit hungry. But uh, that is July's Q&A responses, guys. I just would like to say, once again, thank you guys for asking questions. Uh, the Q&As have become very popular recently, and I would like to say thank you to everybody who has helped me make this possible. Because without all of your questions, I would not have a Q&A series. So... So it's it's a huge thank you to everybody who has helped me make this possible. August Q&A prompt is going to be out soon as well. There are going to be some new rules um, right around August and through the rest of the year. There's going to be a lot of new rules going in place as we close out 2020. Uh, so a lot of new rules are going to be in a, uh, get ready to go into effect. So, uh, uh, so please be on the lookout for the latest Q&A prompts. And please read the rules carefully. There will be some changes coming up. And um, with rules, I don't single anyone out. It's just to help um, tighten the rules a little bit, just to kind of make the experience better. Uh, so that's about it for this Q&A response videos, parts one and two. Thank you guys for tuning in. And just remember, smash the like button, drop a comment down below. And subscribe. I have new releases coming out as well. I've got a new product review that is out as well, which has been a real big hit. Thank you guys. Please check it out. And I have concluding uh, so I'm cleaning up July's footage for Rail Fanning. I have two parts coming, parts two and three are uh, gonna be coming out real soon. So uh, guys, please be on the lookout for that. So once again, smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. And uh, remember, tap that little notification bell. We get all the latest updates. <clears throat> and until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Be good, guys. This is Engineer Pat 5290, out.